I mean, DJ Horn, I think, again, there's going to be a lot of people when you get to the Final Four and, and you see them against Purdue that want to talk about what DJ Horn has done through the NCAA tournament, the ACC tournament. But realistically, he's had a pretty phenomenal season. Yeah. Like, get that hate out all your around, heart, though. All around. Um, so this is just a, a quick look at the numbers for, for DJ Horn this season compared to his final season at Arizona State. At ASU, averaged 12.5 points this season at NC State. Almost 17 points per game. The field goal percentage is a, a giant increase. Shot 36% um, at ASU, then 43%. Um, at NC State, three-point percentage, that increased 35% at ASU, 40% at in NC State, one of the best three-point shooters um, in Division One basketball this season. Free throw numbers, pretty much the same, 81.6 um, final year um, in a Sun Devil uniform, and then 81.1 this season for the Wolfpack. Eric, like, the consistency that you've seen from DJ Horn mm -hmm. has, has been pretty ridiculous, again, just because watching him at ASU, he had his moments, um, but there were certainly times where you're just like, what's going on? And a lot of it now is you look the offense, right? right? Bobby Hurley's offense. For you to see those numbers versus what he did at NC State, just what are your thoughts on, on DJ Horn's successes? It's season? very like left brain, right brain. Because part <laughs> of me is like with JJ, where it's like, I'm happy for, for yeah. DJ Horn, you know, but like it, it is somewhat deflating to see yet another player like leave ASU and, and maybe in different ways, like Remy leaves ASU, his stats go down, his role goes down, but he goes to a championship team, right? Like DJ Horn leaves ASU, goes to another team and everything kind of inflates, yeah. but either way you're leaving ASU and you're, you're kind of building up and getting another level of success. It makes you think, what if, you know, it makes you wonder, Oh, well, if he stayed, would he have had the same jump? Was it just simply a, a, another like year and under college basketball and growth as you see guys kind of balloon, but you know, I, I'm happy for him, but I'm sad that it didn't happen for us. And I, I'm left wondering if that could have even happened no. if he was here. No. <laughs> Look, th th this is such a unique situation. And so many so many things that have happened out of ASU are such unique situations. So so if we want to talk about storied, storied success from guards that transfer ASU, it's bullshit, but we can talk about that. You know, you, you, you get your Jalen Houses who go to smaller schools and their role – is their be the, he's their best player. Yeah. Like, and he is now the, the captain of this team and, and has been established there for three years. And they're the, the pride of the Mountain West coming out of the tournament because they're on fire. And then they get Molly Wap by Clemson. You can talk about your transfers that are get too good to, the, you know, they grow out of their their clothes, so to speak, at ASU. And they have to go to, to a different school Remy Martin. To, to get to get more the two to want to win a championship in Remy Martin. This is something that's never happened before. This is only the sixth 11 seed to ever make a final four. No, they tie the record for the highest seed to ever make a final four. Their probability to do this is the most insane I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know how they got here. But yeah. They had well, to yeah, win their tournament. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't just win their tournament. In the, I think the second round, they banked in a game winning three. And the off same, of a no, no, no. In the semifinal, yeah, off a missed free throw. That three was just to get it to overtime yeah. against Virginia. So, like this team is it, awesome, and they've they've taken advantage of of the opportunity they've been given. They've 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 really they've really thrived in this opportunity. But it's not because DJ Horn is a, some is, is some world beater. He had amazing moments last night. And he's a big reason why this team is making it to where it is. But it's just such a different situation. I mean, it is like the, DJ Horn doesn't take this team to the tournament. Like he doesn't do that. No, no, he it's, it's it's a whole team thing for sure. And, and I don't think the argument is that DJ Horn is now like the a world beater of college basketball. Right. I think it's just you've seen him put up better stats and like, yes, they even made the tournament. They put themselves in a position to make a run like that, which is something that ASU wasn't able to do. But like, you're right. Like if, if they had either been knocked out in their tournament or knocked out early in, in March Madness, like we wouldn't be sitting no. here having this conversation. But it's, you know, it, what happened has happened. And the stats are the stats as well. And the way he's played like. He he maybe isn't the the biggest reason on that team, but he's he's certainly one. He's, he's a top three player on that team. He's a top he's a top yeah. two player. And I think I think the the craziest thing for me to watch NC State and again watch tournament game after tournament game and see them as dogs. And I get it, they're eleven seed. You mm -hmm. you know what happened like in in the ACC tournament, but they are built to to win a championship in my mind. They've got the star in DJ Burns, and it's not just the star because you want to compare him to some of the other stars in the Final Four. He probably doesn't match up right. But they have so many weapons. They have a full seven-man rotation of guys that you feel confident can get it done night in, night out. They've got bigs. Like, I think NC State has, has a great chance to take down Purdue. Now, UConn is an entirely different animal. Um, I think we've seen that, obviously, throughout the NCAA tournament. But DJ Horn, for me, I don't think, to answer your earlier question, Eric, 
and, and to go off your point, Shane, I don't think DJ Horn would have had the same jump statistically. I don't think he would have had the same numbers. Now, part of that, in my mind, is Bobby Hurley's system in the offense, whatever. But I think NC State is a great model of how you build a college basketball team in today's era of college hoops without being a blue blood, without being a North Carolina, without being a Kentucky. Like, they've got a bunch of guys that did it at smaller programs, transferred in, and yes, they had, what, 14 losses this season? Mm -hmm. But a team like this that you've seen and why I think they're so dangerous is because they're hot, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the target.